Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to the 9 Miles Asking on TV and Gadget Review Channel. Today I'm going to review the, a product called Indestructible Shoes. And you can actually find them at indestructibleshoes.com. Yeah, that's Indestructible Shoes. And just a little bit about them. So, this is from their website. After years and years of working on our feet, we began to ask ourselves the question, why aren't there a few decent options for work shoes available on the market? After doing some research, all we could find were sneakers, work boots, or slip resistant shoes and while, while all of them seem like plausible options we struggle to find an all-in-one work shoe until now. We've strategically designed indestructible shoes to serve as the modern day answer to that very same question. These work, sho these work shoes are built to last. They are built to function in a number of different environments and they're built to protect the body against workplace hazards. What more can you ask for in a shoe? Our mission here at Indestructible Shoes is to provide comfortable, stylish, and safe work shoes that are built to last for decades. We don't skimp out on materials. We only use extremely durable and lightweight material to ensure that our footwear solutions are strong, safe, and built to last for years. Each and every day we work hard at work uh, looking at new design styles and blah, 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 blah. Okay, anyway. So the company sent these over to me, so I really appreciate it. Thought it'd be the perfect product review on this channel because I can think of all sorts of tests to determine whether or not these are indestructible. So I came in this box here, and it just says, just kind of light packaging, safety shoes. And yeah, there's tons of different designs that cost around 75 to 100 bucks a pair. Um, so you can check out their website. It seems like they have sales quite often, so maybe um, you know call them up or or uh, just visit the website and see you know what kind of sales they have going on. But it seems like they have quite a few sales, and they're nice looking shoes. I mean, they look like they almost kind of remind me of Skechers, uh, but they are heavy. I mean, they're you can tell there's quite a bit of like armor in there. Um, so they say fashion safety shoes. Yeah, look at the bottom, have a lot of grip. You know, just slide in on this, there's a lot. Good, good grip. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna test out, uh, let's see if these are actually indestructible. I hate to, you know, ruin these, but uh, they sent me these over to really test them out, really put them to the test, so, or put them through the ringer, so. Uh, yeah, let's let's uh, get started. All right, so here we go, and I'm I'm gonna wear these as well, but I just want to kind of test. I have my fingers in the end. I'm gonna put a small hammer. And yeah, no, no problem. Obviously, when you get up here, it starts hitting me, and then on the sides, it starts hitting me. But as far as my shoe, you know, from about Starts right about here. Yeah. Definitely, definitely can't feel that. All right, so let's test out this framing hammer here. Yep. And no problem there as well. Um, and next, let's test out the sledgehammer. All right, so here we go. And yeah, that, that as well, no problem there. All right, so let's try a nail. And if this went through, it would go through my hand underneath here. But I have confidence in these shoes, at least that's what they say anyway. And the other thing I'm noticing, well, let's just try it without my hand because it's kind of hard to. And the other thing I'm noticing is the material right here is staying intact. It's not like ripping up or anything like that or getting like, you know, you know, you can see that it looks brand new, even with all that hammering. And... All right, so next let's try comfort. And I'm just gonna put these on here. This is the first time wearing the shoes. And yeah, very, very comfortable so far. So yeah, I usually wear 11 and a halves. Um, 
but these, and these are in size 12, they didn't have 11 and a half, but they fit very well. I was a concern because sometimes the boots in general seem to run pretty large, but actually these fit perfectly. So they remind me kind of how like Nikes fit, Nike shoes. Um, kind of like if you get a 12, it's kind of like 11 and a half a lot of times. The, this is speaking from my experience, but yeah, no slipping or anything like that. They don't feel like like boots, you know, where you're slipping around. They feel like shoes, like Nikes, Adidas, Skechers, things like that. Feel really good. You know, I'm not slipping on the floor or anything. Lots and lots and lots of grip. Lots of cushioning. They feel good. All right, so let's test out some other things. Here we go. So we got this barbell. I'm going to drop one in the barbell on the shoe on the end. So here we go. Three, two, one. And yeah, no problem. Don't feel it at all. All right, so here is a really tough test right here. This is a chunk of metal right here. So here we go. Three, two, one. This weighs about 20 pounds. Yeah, no problem. Don't feel it at all. So yeah, obviously I could, could like cut these in half with a chainsaw or try to cut them with a saw blade or whatever, but I'm just kind of showing you normal wear and tear, uh, things that may happen, you know, getting hit with a hammer, dropping something heavy on your foot, and they're holding up really well. So as far as comfort goes, that's a plus. Grip, that's a plus, you know, or a pass. You know, the material holding up and not kind of like denting or anything like that. I mean, that's a plus even with dropping things. I don't feel any dents or anything like that. So yeah, I mean, in my tests, I mean, I could, who knows what I could do. I could set them on fire or whatever, but uh, these are kind of something I want to uh, even use after this test. So, um, so I'm not going to be completely destroying them, but yeah, let me know what you think. Have you tested out indestructible shoes or maybe what's your favorite pair of work shoes? You know, do you have them? I would say the only thing that I'm seeing is kind of, uh, you know, it's indestructible, especially on the toe, but it's not like it gives you complete armor all the way around your entire foot, but that's pretty standard for most uh, work shoes. But as far as the toe goes, I mean, you're really protected right there. So yeah, I would say try them out. I mean, you can return them if you don't like them, but I would think these are on the higher end of most shoes because, um, you know, the materials holding up, they look they work, they look good and uh, they're, they're functional. So thanks for watching my videos everyone. If you like them, if you like my videos, my content, please continue following. If you want to support my content, um, I always say this, but go to patreon.com slash nine malls. It's really easy to sign up. All it takes is a buck to support my channel. You can also become a Facebook fan, which is even easier. And that's below in the description. If you're watching this on Facebook, you can become a Facebook fan. Um, yeah, and you can get exclusive content for both of those. And if you're a Facebook fan, you can have an exclusive badge that will separate you from everyone else. So it'll be displayed uh, when you leave a comment or something like that. All right, thanks for watching my videos, everyone. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.